As we move into 2024, it is such a complex time for companies and their boards. Complexities include the economy, stakeholder expectations, governance changes, reporting changes, and of course, many, many risks. But running through all of that is climate. Investors, stakeholders, and the world are starting to look for companies and not just asking what their targets are, but asking what they're doing about this. And boards are at the forefront of those expectations of setting the right governance environment, but also ensuring the companies don't just have targets, but are reporting and delivering against them. I'm John Lydon, co-chair of the Australian Climate Leaders Coalition, which is a group of 50 companies and their chief executives committed to help each other and Australia reach net zero. Directors and boards need to be sure they're aware of how quickly this space is moving. What might have been fine two or three years ago, which is setting targets, perhaps having a good sustainability report detailing when the company will hit to uh, net zero or something similar, that's not enough anymore. It's not enough because the reporting standards that the Australian Accounting Standards Board are working on right now and will become reality very soon are going to require disclosures on not only the climate-related risk governance and strategy that a board is uh, leading, but also the financial materiality and climate materiality of the company's actions. Beyond even that, companies are realizing they need to have a credible transition plan, a credible transition action plan that is detailing not just the targets, but what are the measures that are going to be implemented to ensure they're doing their part to help us reach net zero. I'd hope that all boards are getting very rapidly across the reporting requirements which the Australian Accounting Standards Board has out consultation on now. Many of these based on uh, IFRS S1 and S2 and the work of the International Sustainability Standards Board. And I know that AICD has done a really good job in bringing some of that awareness into their membership. I'd urge boards not just to stop at reporting and how the company is carrying out that task, but also what are the ways the company is responding? What are the ways that the corporation and its executive are meeting its obligations to reduce these emissions? And that might be a credible transition action plan. It's also likely to be how the processes, whether that's incentive setting, capital allocation, discount rates, strategy and risk are all incorporating the need to reduce emissions for the benefit of the company, its stakeholders and all of society. Thank you.